This is the sports editor of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Ansel. I'm joined by freshman Eric Swoop. Eric, first off, thanks for joining me. How excited are you for basketball season? Oh, thank you. I mean, I've been pretty much since I went to the first football game and I saw like the energy and kind of everything that's going on. I've just been dreaming about what the first game is going to be like. You're a Cali native. You ready to bring that West Coast swag to the East Coast right now? Yeah, that's my plan. I mean, I've been... It's, it's, just, it's like a subtle shift because I grew up kind of in like the Santa Monica area and Miami's relatively the same but just has more of an international vibe but yeah I got to bring California out here. Eric you got the body like a linebacker right here so tell me I mean football ever in your background or are you always a basketball player? No I actually used to play soccer um, I've never played football before yeah. Uh, how about this basketball team how, how good is the team right now you've been through a couple practices a couple weeks of practices and what, what can fans expect from this team this year? Oh, it should be tremendous year this year. I mean, everyone's taken big strides as far as the summer. Um, competing so far, it's just been like a tremendous year. So definitely high expectations, I know, personally for myself and for the team. Yeah, it should be a big year. Describe your game to fans. What are you going to be known for when they see you suiting up in the hardwood? Um, probably hustle defensively. Um, I can jump kind of high, so maybe some tip dunks here and there, some you know, a little bit of flashiness, but for the most part, uh, kind of raw, just hard work has been kind of my niche since I've been little. We all know how many good players are on this team, but Malcolm Grant and, Bo and Daquan Jones both said if they could choose one player to play two on two with, they choose you yeah. out of anyone on this team. Oh, wow. That's 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 high praise. That's yeah. high praise, Eric. <laughs> and and you're a newcomer, so how does that make you feel? I mean, that's flattering. I truly didn't even know that, and for the most part, I, those are two guys I highly look up to over the summer and they've been giving me pointers so far over the summer and you know little things to do um, minor things in practice that I can work on that have just changed my game so yeah that's that's pretty awesome to know that. What other schools were you looking at? Um, my recruitment was kind of all over the place but I was looking at schools like Harvard, um, San Diego State and UNLV were probably my I'd say like my top three. Was it during the Pepperdine trip last year when Coach Haith really, you know, got to see you again and really made, made the offer to you? Yeah, that was pretty much the defining moment is I had found out that they were coming. I had about a month to get prepared, and so I was really, really anxious. And then when they came out, I had a good showing. And, yeah, that was pretty much what sold it. Uh, tell, me, tell me one player that might surprise some people on this Hurricanes basketball team right now. Hmm, that's a good question. Um... I definitely say Daquan Jones is he's gonna make a really big impact this year. I know I watched him. I got to watch him a little bit because in California, you know, not too many Miami games were on, but definitely practicing and playing against him, he's gonna he's gonna do some big things this year. How about the out of conference schedule, Eric? I mean, it's it's pretty pretty good competition right off the bat. You got Memphis, you got West Virginia, Ole Miss, Rutgers, and you obviously have ACC play. So, yeah. I and mean, this is why you came to Miami, right? Yeah, exactly. I mean, similar to my high school, you have to play against tough talent if you want to get better. So we have to start off in the preseason playing against top teams that are really going to push us. So when we get to ACC play, it's like we've been there before. So we're comfortable. It's not like a new thing. So definitely, this out of conference schedule is going to. This is definitely going to help us. Yeah. And you were a graduate of Harvard Westlake, same high school as Jason and Jared Collins. So you talked to any of them, the two two big men, now veteran NBA players. Um, yeah, I talked. I got a chance to meet them a little bit. They kind of come around campus. They do some events with like some of the younger kids, and I've kind of asked them, "What was your experience like?" Because that was you know about ten or so years ago, and. They explained to me it's kind of relatively similar. I mean, academically at a school like Harvard Westlake, they test you every day. <laughs> so I kind of got the hang of that. So now coming to Miami where academics are just as highly valued, um, I feel comfortable. It doesn't feel like similar how I was talking about our, like out of conference schedule. Um, I feel like I've been here before. So the stress levels are decreased because um, I've had exposure to this before. How great is it playing with a guy like a Duran Scott? Uh, so far, it's been tremendous. I mean, he's another guy that I really look up to because, um, like, in the heat of a situation, when you need someone to be poised and to take care of business, he's always there. Eric, thanks so much for joining us. Best of luck this year. Stay Thank healthy. You. Let's go, Canes. The very eloquent Eric Swoop, freshman talent. I'm the sports editor of the Miami Hurricane, Justin Antwell.